interpreted. Hi, uh, welcome to High Tech Institution. Today topic is Django site hosting in Windows Server. Okay, this thing we are going to do now. So now let me take a remote of my server. Just go to click on it and then go to RTP and then click password. Just take it. Close the previous one. Just open MSP. Yes, it's been hyphen V is a command to take a remote easily. Oh, sorry. Just the DNS. Is the password here? Now we take that. I mean, now we take the remote successfully. Okay. Okay. Once you click the remote, and then first you need to configure Python. Okay. Actually, if you take a remote, in, I mean, if you take a remote correctly, right? It takes some time. You can wait for some times. Now we successfully taken the remote and then go to browser extract browser. Okay. Now search it like download for Python. Okay, likewise if you search our official site comes under the first. Okay. Now you select now, now you click the download python 3 .1. okay we are using now we are using the latest version just to open the file okay add path to i mean python docs uh, select the checkbox okay and then click the customize installation okay now i just go to browse then i'll just go to this pc just create i mean sorry Let's go to this PC and then go to C drive and then I create a one folder this Python 3.1. Okay, this is my folder. Okay, this is my Python folder. I just select the okay and then select the all checkboxes. Okay, just come okay, fine. Now we can install. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to download the Git application, okay, for loading my uh, web, web application, okay. So now I'm going to install Git on Windows, okay. So this is the official site, okay, you can directly download the 64-bit Git for Windows setup, okay, like can just uh, select this one now it is successfully installed okay, actually it takes time. okay fine fine once it is downloaded okay and then go to go to downloads and then open the git file Okay, we can wait for some time. Okay, once it is done, we can uh, install the Git application. Yeah, fine. Now 
it's in now it installed successfully okay so by now i am going to install the git okay you can just select the next 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 and then you can easily install the git on your server now and then and on the what i'm going to do i'm going to install the web server ias okay this will helps to uh, make our server as a web web server so now what i'm going to do to install i'm sorry, i mean sorry now i'm going to server manager now i'm just selecting server take some time okay we can wait for some time so okay once it is done you can go to the add rules and features and then you can go to the uh, web server ias okay and then the and then the one more thing you need to select the cga okay this will help to host a java application okay so uh, after that you can go i mean after that you can uh, install the respective web server ias now till now it's loading okay fine now it's downloaded and then go to and just select the next one next one and then select the web server ias role okay and then click the add feature and then go to next and then go to next select the next one and then go to the application development okay you need to select the cga and then select the hdb redirection to okay and then go to install okay so fine install it install the web server contents web server things and stuff okay okay you can wait for some times once it is done, we can move the further steps. the unwanted tabs yeah now it is successfully installed okay now you can cross verify Okay, you can copy this IP and then yeah. Now now web server IIS is configured successfully. Okay, fine. This is the default one. Okay, so fine. Now what I'm going to do? Okay. Now we can open the uh, file manager and then go to inetpub www root okay this is the uh, default site site content okay so now what I, now i am just cloning my uh, git repo into this place now i just use cd paste so fine git clone and then specifying the Respective Git URL. the Git URL. Okay. Yeah. Now it's cloning my web source content. Okay. So fine. Now it comes into this uh, directory. Okay. So now to copy the copy this URL. Move to that respective directory. Fine enough. 
before you run the make migration and then migration things and stuff okay okay before you need to install the jar pip install jar fine we successfully installed that then now what i'm going to do i'm going to change this database into db dot db dot sql3 just open this like install it now i just copy this database code okay now i just okay fine okay once it is done you can go i mean you can run the migration Okay. Uh, before that, uh, I am using the crispy forms. Okay. So you need I mean, so I need to configure. I mean, I need to install the crispy forms. Okay. So now I just install the crispy forms. Okay. Fine. Now it's installed. Fine. Now I just run the migration command. Python manage dot we will make migration migrate okay now i just run server okay now we run the server and then you can check that i mean check your site we are using this url so i just copy this url and then paste it on my browser yeah now our site will success i mean now our site is executed successfully okay fine now just uh, come out from the site okay Fine. We successfully uh, clone the site, and then we successfully run the site, and then we can we successfully uh, download and then configure the key. Okay, Python. Okay, all uh, I mean all things we do successfully. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, install W fast CG. Okay, this application, I mean this module helps to run the uh, Django application. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use pip install wfast cg. Okay, once you download the wfast cg and then you need to enable that enable hyphen hype enable hyphen wfast cg okay i mean uh, i think i wrongly specified in this case w fast cga and then hyphen enable okay like this if you run the respective w fast cga file comes under the uh, site packages okay so now what i'm going to do i'm just copying the respective path just is paste into my notepad. Okay. Fine. Now we successfully configure the WFAST CGI. Okay, now I'm just opening the I'm now I'm just opening the IAS manager. Go to the next manager. Okay. So this is our server. Okay. So if you see okay this is our default site okay now i just uh, stop the site okay fine now i going to select the add website django one okay i am just giving the name okay you need to select the your uh, source file directly that is our file 
every root go to disaster okay this is our root file okay you can just select the all assigned directory and then we are working with the port id and then you can select okay okay now our now we successfully add our site into this place okay once it is done we can go to the handler mapping okay you need to add i mean sorry, you need to select this and then you need to go to the fast cgi settings okay you can see the respective url okay respective url comes into this line okay uh, one second Fine. Okay, you need to cross verify this. Okay, fine. We successfully did this. I think we need to go to the handler mappings and then you need to add the module. Okay, you need to first request what you, you can specify the uh, asterisk symbol. Okay, and then you need to select the fast CJ module. Okay, after that, you need to uh, specify the this UR and this path okay so now i am just to go with the channel okay this is my name and then you can uh, uncheck the invoke handler checkbox okay mm, fine okay Once it is done, we can go to the application code. We can see the respective Django one application, and then you need to uh, okay, okay, fine. Now you run the local host. Now you run the local host. You can check local host. Now, if you run, you can see the Ziggy handler error. Okay. So now, what in what you need? I mean, uh, what we are going to do? You can go to the configuration editor. Okay, configuration editor. You can go to the uh, system web server. And then you need to select the handlers. Okay. Once you unlock the session. can go to the active disaster file oh once again just to go to the configuration editor just to select the cgi unlock the session okay now our web config file will comes into this page now i don't know why it doesn't come Okay, go on the game check. Okay, now our uh, file comes into this line. Okay, fine. Now you can go to the file, find a path, www root disaster. Yeah, now we can see the 
respective web.configure file this will helps to uh, run the our uh, Django site automatically okay so now i'm just to open try this one now what i'm going to do i'm just specifying the one source code so you can just specify this app settings i will explain you don't worry about that to specify this app settings okay you need to specify that uh, this get ziggy application okay this application helps to run the run our Django application okay when you run the local host or ip right it will automatically triggers and then it will automatically uh, run our application okay you need to select uh, your uh, repo okay i mean sorry you need to select your uh, source code directory and then you need to select your uh, django module settings location okay once it is done you can uh, save the file and then you can run okay fine yeah now you can see the Siki handler okay you can see the handler section error okay now what i'm going to do i'm just going with the while performing this unlock okay so now we successfully unlock that and then you can go to and then you can okay fine now you see that you can see that our respective uh, site content but no design comes into this lines okay so now what i'm going to do now we can go to i mean now we can use uh, python manage dot py collect static okay collect static once if you run this command okay you need to Mm, you can see the okay, I'm just opening the um, okay. Fine now I just changing my uh, setting start uh, you are I setting start just changing this into root UI. You did this that you can go then you can you can manage dot py collect static okay. okay now our static file is successfully now our static file is successfully copied okay into this location now what we are going to do you need to change a uh, change on content in urls.py okay now i just open my uh, urls.py edit with ideally okay you need to import one thing for uh, static content just import this content now I just specify this content with details and then I'm specifying this content to in this URL.py now 
I save the file and then I write the local host file. Okay, now our site will successfully configure. Okay, you can uh, check using this public IP. Okay, now I just specify. Okay, fine. I just refresh this page. You can see our Um, okay, okay, fine, fine. You need to specify the URL in settings. That will be sorry, we have forgot to specify that. You need to specify star. Now I just save this file. Okay, now again, run the disaster management file. Yeah, now we can see the respective our application. Okay, if you want to enhance your security, you can directly go to the Windows Defender in our server and then you can directly, I mean, you can specify the inbound rules, port 80 and then things and stuff. Okay, so now we did the Django, Django application hosting in Windows Server. Okay, thank you guys. I will see you in the next video.